What's going on out there drivers? This ain't gonna be a long video. I'm not gonna even, I don't even care if this video gets monetized. I don't even, I don't even give a shit. I'm just gonna speak my mind while it's on my mind and I'm gonna rant and uh, I'm gonna yell and I'm probably gonna cuss. So if you can't handle that, you're probably gonna wanna leave. You're probably not gonna watch this video. YouTube will probably make this video 18 and up and it will probably get five views because of that. Sometimes YouTube does that. And that's why a lot of us get on here and we don't cuss and we're careful about what we say because YouTube will change the rating on your video and then literally nobody sees it. You know, it doesn't get out there. So you gotta be real careful. In my, in my temper and the way it explodes, how you're probably gonna see in a minute, it will, it, it'll get, it'll, it'll get rated up pretty, pretty dang quickly. But I'm gonna tell you the story. I stop at this Love's in Utah. I go inside and I get a shower and it's got a, a Taco John's in it. So I decide to go get me some Taco John's, you know, grab something quick to eat. And then I'm gonna finish, finish driving, right? So I go in there, there's a man in front of me and, uh, He's probably about my age, you know. He's probably he's probably early 40s, you know. But uh, anyway, there's an old man at the cash register, probably at least 60, 65, maybe a little more. And uh, he's learning. He's learning how to work the cash register. He's not real good at it. It looks to me like it's probably his first, maybe a second day. And they're shorthanded, like most jobs are right now. Well. The man, the man at the cash register messes up his orders a couple times, but he apologizes to this driver. He keeps telling this driver, I apologize, I'm sorry. Give me a minute, I'll get it fixed. He gets the manager over there, who should be over there training him anyway. And she kind of goes over what he did wrong and tells him how to fix it and stuff like that. Again, this old man working the cash register apologizes to him. He says, I'm sorry, we'll get your order out as soon as possible. The old man that's, or the man that's in front of me, the driver, he laughs and he says, well, no, you couldn't do my job. That's exactly what this stupid motherfucker put out his fucking mouth. It's exactly what it was. Well, I step up to the register. About that time, this old man takes his glasses off and he's got, his eyes are watery, almost like he's about ready to cry. And he looks at that driver and he says, I drove for 34 years, 34 years. I hurt my back. They pulled my medical card after I got some surgeries. I can't drive. And this old man's limping back there. He's hurt. He said, I can't drive anymore. Then this driver has the audacity to look at this old man and says, oh yeah, would you drive? And I'm like, oh, get the hell out of here with this arrogant ass stupid shit. Do you realize how fucking stupid you are? So I tell the old man, I say, man, don't even pay attention to that idiot. Driving is the easiest job I've ever had. It is freaking easy. It's just being out here with nobody to check us and in a truck by ourselves. You know how it is, our egos get real big. Man, I appreciate your 34 years of driving. Then this idiot turns towards me and says, you ain't no driver. That's a bullshit motherfucker. I've been driving almost 14 years. I am a fucking driver. Just cause I ain't 350 motherfucking pounds like your fucking ass is, doesn't mean I'm not a driver. And if you keep jacking your fucking jaws, the law's gonna know I'm a driver because they're gonna have to put me in handcuffs while they haul you off to the motherfucking hospital. Get the fuck out of my face. Leave me the fuck alone. I already don't like you. I'm going off on this dude in this fucking restaurant. Manager comes out from the back. She tries to calm it down. About that time, his food's ready. She hands him his food. And he's still mumbling at the fucking mouth. So I start fucking walking towards him. You got a problem? You, you got a fucking problem. I'm not like these other motherfuckers out here. Do you have a fucking problem? Well, he don't say nothing. He just keeps walking, goes on back into the store part. I've lost my shit already. And it hurt me more than anything because this old man is starting over in his life. All right? He is fucking starting over. He's starting over trying to learn something new. And at his age, he didn't grow up with technology like a lot of us did. Don't knock that motherfucker because you're too insecure about the fuck you do. Because you think 
that because you're a fucking big fucking truck driver that you walk on water punk boy that's not fucking it it ain't cool it makes us all look like fucking idiots it makes us all look fucking ignorant when a motherfucker does that it was embarrassing it's fucking embarrassing driving a truck ain't that fucking hard and to be honest with you trying to figure out that fucking computer at the fucking fast food place is probably a hell of a lot harder than what the shit we fucking do it's got 3,000 different fucking options of different things, people, different ways people can be fucking charged. Don't stand up there and act like you're better than another motherfucker because you drive a fucking truck. And then you wonder why motherfuckers don't want us in their fucking town. They don't want us in their fucking town because we leave shit bags on the fucking ground. They don't want us in their fucking town because we tear the fucking roads up. They don't want us in their fucking town because we don't take a shower for five fucking days and walk through their fucking stores stinking them up. They don't want us in their fucking towns because we're so fucking retarded. We think shitting in a fucking bucket in a fucking sleeper is sanitary. A fucking retard can drive a fucking truck. It's not that fucking hard. Quit walking around like your shit don't fucking stink. Ain't nobody out here better than another motherfucker. Nobody. A lot of us out here need a fucking heart check. A lot of us do. It's fucking bullshit. You make all drivers. When you act like that, you make all drivers look like arrogant fools. Arrogant fucking fools. And you wonder why the public says we're the bottom of the fucking totem pole. You wonder why trucking's listed as an unskilled labor. It's not that fucking hard. I was a trainer for three years. I trained two people, two of them, that were legitimately able to draw a fucking check due to mental disorders. And they drove manuals. It's not that fucking hard. Quit acting like it is. Quit acting like you're better than anybody. I try to fucking, I try to build this deal where, where we all are a brotherhood out here, where we all stick together and we all fucking work with each other. And we try to help our image. And you got stupid motherfuckers like this fucking running around out here. Probably poke his fucking leg and gravy pour out that bitch. Fuck him. And if you're one of them drivers that walks around with your chest poked out like that, fuck you too.